hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talk video guys so on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to um how to start a facebook page um audio room or how to start an audio room in facebook page this is actually looking like a podcast and you guys can also call that a podcast on facebook page and there is a particular way this works and before i continue this conversation guys um if you do not have this option uh, make sure your facebook page is updated and two also make sure that um you are making use of um uh, a video creator's um facebook page because there are some features that work for some facebook category and there are some that don't work for some facebook category so um if you're making use of a video creator's account i'm very sure you're going to have this because I'm also making use of the Facebook creators account, but if you're making use of the Facebook business account, yes, you also have it. I've seen that. And then I don't know about other pages uh, because I don't have other pages. So uh, make sure that uh, you have this option. If you do not have this option, you can just um, look around to see if there is a podcast option. So when you want to make use of that, just click on the room section under this top area click on that and then you notice where it says create room go ahead and tap on create room and you're going to see different information now there are some few things you can do guys um you can add a title to your room i'm going to call this um tutorial so that people wouldn't just um people wouldn't just join the room thinking there are some um, some information i'm trying to share here so i'm going to call this tutorial and so that hopefully they will be able to know so this is saying ts tech talk tutorial um and then uh, under this section you notice it says starting time if you want to schedule this click on the time and then use a particular date and time but i'm just going to cancel it because i do not want to schedule it i want it to be published right now so um you can also select who you want to be your stick um your speaker you can have multiple speakers on on the um on this live room so i'm just going to scroll down you notice if you scroll to the bottom it's going to reload and load even more user you keep scrolling and it keeps reloading more user but then um, i'm not interested in adding anybody now i'm going to show you guys how to add that later on during this video actually so click on go live to actually go live then wait for it to load up now oh, it has actually loaded up and um you notice it says ts text um not ts tech it says um ts um tutorial live room now um depending on how your internet is it could affect your voice if your internet is not strong enough but i think this internet is actually good enough so um i'm not sure actually but um after i finished my previous recording i noticed that um the voice was cracking at a point so if you notice or you are in a live stream and you are in a live audio room and somebody told you your voice is not appearing properly just know that um it's the audio um it's the network that is actually affecting the audio now um some other informations that you quick need to notice you notice right here on the top area it says live and then it says um it has on the audio section it has one and then on the speaker session it has zero now what this actually means um the um the first mic that you can see right there is actually the speaker and then the um audio you can see under this area is actually the people that are listening to the live audio and then um this first icon right there is actually what helps you to drag it down and when you click on that icon it just minimizes the live room and when you click on it it brings it back even more now you notice i have one person listening and i keep getting likes you notice the like displaying right there so that is actually how it works and then um if for some reason guys um you want to invite people or you want to invite even more speaker you want to hear people to talk um you can easily do that by clicking on this three dotted icon right there and then um clicking on this section that says um open to everyone this icon actually allows you to um allow everybody to see it that is everybody on facebook will be able to see this um live audio now um the second option also is an option that allows you to actually choose um um followed by speakers so you can choose when you choose this option 
it actually going to be the people that are actually following which is probably only the people that um ts tech talk is following will be able to see this but i'm just going to leave that to open to everyone so that everyone will be able to see it and then if you notice right there it says um listeners which is actually the active people that are currently listening to the audio um um the audio live room and then under this bottom section you can see even more option the first option displays an icon the second option displays um the second option displays um um, a profile with a plus and then the third option displays the comment icon and then the last one displays a share icon so when you click on this um audio icon it actually mutes the voice so people are no longer going to hear my voice on this stage now um if i click it again it's going to unmute the voice and they will have they will start hearing my voice once more so um Apart from that, if you want to add people as um, a speaker, when you click on this plus icon, you notice it says um, invite speaker. So there are different people right here. The people that are actually displaying right here are the people that are currently following the page. So if you scroll down, it displays. And if you have a particular person you want to see or you want to find, click on this search area and then look for the person's name. The person's name will display if they are already following you in the group and you can see i have different names right here okay um guys i do not know how many people i have on my profile but this is actually the person i want to invite which is the second person on this profile but it's actually displaying a lot of um people bearing gift but i don't think this is only the people bearing gift in the whole world so i think for some reason um is displaying um a lot of gifts probably people that are related to this group so and then um guys um some minutes uh i think my battery is getting low i have to plug in my charger while making the video so guys um when you um after this invite section the next option is actually this comment section when you click on the comment icon you'll be able to see people leaving comments on the video so let me go ahead and leave a dummy comment right here i'm going to like type um Hey guys, please, um, creating a tutorial for my page and channel. So hopefully anybody watching the video that goes over to the comment section will be able to see this. Now, guys, let's continue even further. So I'm going to use this other device um, right on this other device, uh, on my brother's device. All right, guys. So um, on the other device, uh, you can look over to the other side. Now, this is the TS Tech Talk page. So let's say you just open your Facebook page and you click on the search section right here and you search for my profile or the facebook um, page the exact facebook page just scroll down a little and you are going to see the live stream so this Let's is you actually your uh, page let me reduce the video. and you click on the search section right here so this is actually how people are going to be discovering the live stream now um if anybody clicks on the live stream they are going to be displaying um seeing the live stream this way and if the person is watching the live stream that way you notice right there it's actually displaying um from my own end like the three um the two users that are actually active on the live stream they are probably listening to the live stream now um even more things guys um so this person is actually watching this live stream now i'm going to further test this by adding a comment from this other account so i'm going to add um this comment that says hey bro and then i'm going to add even more comments um i'm going to add a vocal word so i'm going to make use of um uh them okay i wonder if this is the actual spelling of that okay so uh let's say anybody annoying can just leave a, a comment like this and um all of these kind of comments can be left by any angry viewer or any angry um, user that is actually listening to the audio live room so if for some reason guys you want to actually um, delete that um, an admin can also can just delete that and the user also can delete that from their end when the user clicks and then hits the delete button 
it's going to delete from their device and also it's going to be deleted on on this device too um from users so if for some reason um you want to delete those um comments also by yourself as an admin all you need to do is to click and hold on that particular comment and you see some option you can either block the person from following you on your group or making any other um, um comment or leaving any comments watching your content or stuff you can block the person but if for some reason you do not want to block the person just go ahead and click on delete but i do not think it's right to just block this person because they've actually made use of this so i just deleted the um, actual message and i'm going to delete this other message also and then um from the other device the person might not notice the comment has been deleted immediately until they either refresh their page or maybe um let's see let me go ahead and close this live and then refresh this page from that other device okay it has just refreshed and then i'm going to go right back on that device and then open it and then go over to the comment section and you notice those two messages i deleted i deleted has been removed so that is actually how it works whenever um whenever somebody deletes uh, whenever somebody leaves a comment and the admin doesn't like it the admin can just go there and delete the um post that is why if you are actually going live making use of your audio message just make sure you have a moderator or somebody that could actually um manage the live audio room for you so that whenever you receive content or comments like this they can easily delete it for you and then guys there is also something you can do while making use of your audio live room um this is actually inviting um other speakers to the room now i can just um click on this particular profile right here this is the profile the um my brother's account if you notice it says um okay for gifts so if you want to invite that user as a speaker you can do it two ways you can either click on this three dotted icon and then confirm that this stuff is already active and then click on this plus icon that have this um this plus icon that has this um message icon click on that and then go ahead and search for the particular name right here and that is probably if the person is actually not on the live watching it you can just go ahead and search on this name and you are going to see the person display right here so i can easily click on invite right here but then i'm not going to do that because i want to show you guys another way to actually invite the person so another way to invite a speaker is um once the person is displaying on your listener area all you need to do is to click on that person's profile once you click on that person's profile you can notice where it says um invites to speaker so once you click on that it's going to display on this other device that um um ts tech talk have actually invited them as a speaker and then there are other information that list um i'm going to take a screenshot so that you guys can read it on later on because uh this video is going to be too long so speaker all you need to do is to click on the person's profile so i'm going to i have like three people listening to this video right now if these people are listening you can easily invite them so i'm going to invite this first person which i is a random person i'm going to invite them by clicking on you notice where it says invite to speaker right because the current status of this person is actually um, a listener so when you click on that i just send invites to this person on their device they are going to get an invite so now let me click on that on this other person that has been joining and leaving and also invite them as a listener as a speaker i mean and then finally i'm going to invite this my profile also as a speaker so i just click on that and then tap on it so um now you notice when i just click on that particular option under this other device you can see right now that it displays um ts tech talk invites you as a speaker so if i want to join as a speaker all i need to do is to click on join as speaker and then you notice um there are even more options that says um people can see um see you in the room and then there are even more options that actually says that um people people on facebook can listening can listening outside of the room and also your followers may be notified when you join the room so now let me go ahead and click on join as speaker and um it's going to actually display right there on the top section of my other profile that um is so guys just wait for it and you can see right there it says um trust 
and this trust that displays right there is actually the profile of the page and the facebook page name is ts tech talk so in front of you you can see um ts tech and also um it says um trust so um i didn't, I didn't know this actually is going to work but eventually when i looked at it um i tried it and it successfully worked so the trust is my personal profile and the i used that profile to create the ts tech talk um facebook page so that's the reason why it works this way and you can see and also guys um whenever you start um whenever you start a conversation um you make the person as a speaker you can always mute the volume and unmute the volume anytime you want you can notice the um mic icon right there on the bottom right of the screen you can always click that to mute the volume and click it again to unmute the volume so whenever you want you can do this and then also guys another thing there is also a way to actually remove a speaker and the speaker can actually exit for or leave the room but uh, when you want to um remove a um whenever you want to remove um any user on your on the room all you need to do is actually to click and hold on the name that is displayed right there on your screen click and hold it and you are going to see an option to remove the user and immediately you remove the user it's going to you you are no longer going to see it displayed on the screen and also if you notice on this top section it actually have an option where um it displays the mic and also the headset so those are actually the differences between the main user and also um the um listeners so once you remove the um speaker or any speaker it will be removed and reduced from the speaker um from the mic section and you can notice um it will now display only one mic section when only me is active and then it also does the same thing for the listener if a listener join it increases and adds them up to the listener section all right guys so you can now see how this actually ended up and i hope you guys um enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful now i have to end this um audio live room by clicking on end on the top section and then confirming that i want to end this by clicking on the end now the live room and you notice it says um uh ts tech talk you ended the live the room and then the audience are public and um how was your life room this is actually a rating that displays for facebook to actually allow you to read if you actually like the broadcast so i'm going to click on close and i'm going to close it off so whenever you close it off um you can click on the home page um just go to stories and then scroll down a little bit you are going to see the life room you actually just did but if it's not displaying right here all you need to do is go over to your profile section scroll down a little bit and this is actually the life room this is actually the previous post i made and this is actually the first live room i did so if you want to listen to them anytime just click on it um, TS, and uh, tutorial live so, room uh, let me now post uh, live room i didn't post it so anytime you click on it it start playing the live room for you and you can click on the overview to actually see how your life went you notice i have four different comments or oh, four comments i didn't know i had four comments okay um and then i have one person that liked it let me minimize and you can see the comments now section. um depending on how your internet is internet so for some reason i'm not able to see the comment section but then you can also see the insights by clicking on see insights let me see i did not click on that the last time so it actually says 11 people reach five post engagement and also i can also boost this live room and anytime you want to delete a live room all you need to do is to click on this three dotted icon right there and then just do move to trash and then move it to trash nobody is going to be able to see the live room you just ended any longer and that is all for this video guys i hope it's helpful if it is please smash like and subscribe to the channel guys i will see you guys on my next video um stay safe and peace